Hi everybody, T.H. Culhane for Solar Cities at Rosebud Continuum Sustainability Education Center. I'm here with Jasmine Wood, uh, engineering student from USF who comes to us by way of Rabbi Ed Rosenthal and Sylvie, whose last name is? Feinsmith. Feinsmith, thank you, of the Hillel at USF. Hello, uh, Ed and Sylvie. Thank you for bringing this wonderful talent to our movement. And we're here looking at how long a Walmart queen-sized air mattress filled with biogas will run a Predator 4,000 watt, or actually 3,200 watt running watt, uh, generator, uh, which is using a charge controller or a charger to charge batteries to run inverters to run our lights and appliances. And we're doing this because we are in sympathy and solidarity with our friends in Puerto Rico, uh, wonderful U.S. citizens. Uh, in one of the most populated states in the United States, or offshore in the United States, who are suffering from a tragic and criminal loss of power at a time when they should have all the power they want because it's an island blessed with sunshine, blessed with wind, blessed with waves, blessed with running water and mountains, everything you need to be able to charge batteries and run electricity. And with the inclusion of biogas, from city garbage, from municipal household waste, garbage, toilets, animal waste, agricultural waste. There's so much energy out there to be turned into electricity. It is a crime that anybody should be suffering right now in Puerto Rico. We stand with you. And we'll show you how easy it is to do. So we're going we're gonna to start this generator on gasoline. The time now is... 7.56. 7.56. See how long that full queen-sized uh, stretch mattress runs the generator, but we're not going to use the generator like many people do around the world just to run lights. In Nigeria and in Guatemala, when I lived in those places, it was standard practice to run a generator all night, making noise, burning, making smoke, pollution, causing respiratory illness, just to run a light bulb. What you do is you charge batteries and then use LED bulbs, which use very little energy, and you can run them all night off of your batteries and so it doesn't matter if you run out of gas, which is what's happening in Puerto Rico. People who do have backup generators are running out of gas. Of course, they can produce biogas forever. Okay. That being said, we're going to start this up. Uh, you know how to start it. Why don't you go ahead yeah, and, okay. and do that for us. I'll shed a little light on the subject for you. And uh, so remember, the gasoline is off. So we're going to start on gasoline by turning the cockpit uh, right, that down. That's right. Okay. And, and then close the choke. Left. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Give her a pull. Yeah. Okay, turn off the gasoline. Turn off the gasoline. Oh, 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 yeah. Open it off here. Now, it's struggling because the pump is pumping biogas and there's still gasoline in and it needs to mix and get rid of the gasoline to get the right burning ratio or stoichiometry to the biogas. That can take 35 to 40 seconds. Can you time for us? Time? See, um, see how long it takes to run. All right, we'll see. And what is the time right now? Seven? 58. 58. Usually, we call it 45 seconds, and we've ordered we're, we're about 15 seconds in. And let's see if the throttle, the throttle is open. This is closed. See? What I say, it's about to happen. It's about to happen, there you go. So it's about 45 seconds. That's how long it takes to get it. All right, now, this is running on pure biogas, coming off of here. Coming through here, going through a sulfur filter that takes out the hydrogen sulfide because hydrogen sulfide produces sulfuric acid which would eat away and corrode the pistons. So you want to get rid of that with a bunch of iron oxide pellets. You can use shotgun pellets if they're iron pellets, iron clay pellets. You can use that to get rid of the sulfur, then it's going through an aquarium pump in line 20 watts, which then feeds into the carburetor and running the engine. The engine then is then powering a charger, which is charging this battery, 
which is going into an inverter, which is powering the light. Oh, good idea, yeah. So when NASA's gonna go get a blender, so we can show that you can do multiple things while you're generating electricity, obviously. And you don't have to stay to watch this whole thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, we're going to pause this video and we'll come back a little later, see how long this thing runs, and also show you how we run the blender. Bye. Uh.